Welcome to your D131 Graphic Design 1 to our review of EX7 logo personalities. And I'm going to go through these because I think people were still struggling with some of these combinations and even what to do on here. So hopefully I can simplify this. I thought by just starting with the one that would help. But I'm going to go through these and then uh, if you worked on these and you struggled with these, I want you to go back in and work on them. You don't even have to share it again. You just have to save it and just let me know that you updated them. And I'll let you know if I want you to update them because some of you do need to update some things because there's some issues with sizing with alignment with all kinds of things here other than just the fonts so remember I worked on this Stoddard and Dodd and I chose this font I just went something basic Una and I just went from this now if you get stuck just use these just use something very basic from here don't start scrolling through hundreds of fonts it's gonna get you confused stick to these categories and remember when I did this one I said well financial services look for something very conservative and I used a serif font now I use this modern one Stoddard and Dodd I used this modern one Una and I made it bold and then in order to contrast with it or complement that font I used something very basic and let's see what it is it's just archivo narrow and just spread it out now I didn't have to put lines there I threw them after the fact I just threw lines there to make them like in a little box kind of thing but I kept it open and that's all I did for that now let's move on here kids place now here's a chance to have a little fun here kids place this should be a fun font now I don't have fun fonts here there's not too many although you could use something slab or something like that but this is your chance to look for a fun font so you can go in here and it won't be hard to find something fun you could go right here there's a fun font uh, there's a fun font kids play look at that that's fun and, and I'll just I'll just do that I just the first one I saw I put up there that looks kind of fun now, is that the perfect one? Maybe not, but what's going to go with that? Well, something like this. I don't want to do anything that's going to compete with that. I don't want to use a serif. I want to use something very plain. So this is in Open Sans right now. Could I leave it in Open Sans? Sure. If you want to leave it in Open Sans, leave it in Open Sans. If you want to put it in something light, Open Sans light, leave it in Open Sans light. Open Sans isn't a bad font. It's, it's a little more of a generic font in terms of the web font, but that's fine right there that's fine and again this is standing out this is secondary is it appropriate that's fairly appropriate are there better ones possibly but that works okay and that's all I want you to do I don't want this thing to compete with it and if it's going to be centered highlight both of them and use the align centered make sure they work that's it there that's done Johnson Brothers now fuel oil company now obviously this is going to be something very masculine and maybe thick and heavy so you could probably get away with a with a sans serif font or maybe a slab font that's why I gave you some of these examples on here here I said decorative script and I ended up using something script for for this one now for Johnson's fuel oil I said slab sans possibly decorative script maybe for something underneath now I would probably start with something very plain first so you you want this to stand out and you want this to be secondary so start off with this what's gonna work with this and instead of looking at scripts and things like that remember go here and say oh well is there a nice slab well, let's try Roboto slab maybe that'll work and I think we did that with the, the Mitchell and Son or something like that but but try that I'll go with uh, Roboto Roboto and there I go Roboto slab and I'll use the heaviest one they have heavy and there's Johnson Brothers and I'll make it nice and big because that's what needs to stand out Johnson Brothers now fuel oil company now I could get away with something probably like that or I could even use something within the family I don't want to go find a different kind of font I either want to use something sans something very plain or I want to keep it in the family so if I want to keep it in the family I could I could go to Roboto slab and they have a regular do they have a light they do have a light how about that fine could I put it over here maybe I don't know it might work over there I don't know if I like this with a dot in the end but you could do something like that or you could just center it that's fine that's all I want you to do I just want you to get nice combinations here um, and remember this stands out this is secondary so does that combination work yeah it does is it in the right personality I called the exercise logo personalities yeah that's the right personality for that could I get away with a sans serif here sure you could put it in the sans serif you could use open sans you could probably do something like that so that's fine Willie Joe's now this is the similar one we used on the other one and again we always have problems with these letters hanging down here so what would Willie Joe's be you could probably get away with a slab serif you can get get away with any kind of thing uh, maybe I'll try archival black 
I mean, that sounds kind of weird why I would use that one, but I'll put an archive of black. I'll make it, you know, really big here. Now, there's probably better things than that, but I'll put Willie Joe's. And maybe down here, I'll put this in some kind of script. Now, scripts we have to look for, so I'm going to look for something thinner. Now, sometimes you have to go through here a while. You know, there's dancing script. We have all these different fonts here. That's a little too handwritten. might be a little hard to read. Let's see how that looks. That's too fancy. You see what I mean? There's it's a little too many things going on there. Although not bad, but just keep moving on. You know, you don't want anything scripty like that with all these fine lines. That's too hard to read. But I'll click on here again. And how about this one? That's not bad, but they compete. You see how they're kind of competing here? This is very decorative. This is supposed to be in a supporting rule. But actually, I like that. What if I put Willie Joel's? in what was that called molly or something i'll put willie joe's in molly and see how that looks that's kind of neat uh i could read it nice and then what would i do with this well then this i go back and put it in something very plain and again if you're not sure just go roboto and just put it in roboto and leave, leave it at that take it out of italic i don't want to keep it in italic maybe i'll just use light see how that looks and already that's working now, again, we have the problem with the descenders there, but already, that's working. That's fine. We have something decorative, something that's supporting it. That's fine. If you did that, I'd be happy with that. You're finding that's an appropriate font for a Willie Joe's, a sports bar and grill, and this is a nice supporting font for that. Let's go to Escape. Now, lots of cool things you could do with Escape. That's why we practiced a little bit with the one that was Parisian, which was not supposed to have the capital R in it. But maybe Escape will look for something that has kind of more of a decorative kind of script here. Now there's, you know, again, we're just kind of looking through the list here. And, you know, you could spend all day going through here, but you may see something that pops out. How does that look? Nikon. Well, it's kind of small right now. Let me make it big. That's not too bad. It's a pretty fancy. It has that little thing there. If you could somehow work around this P here, that would be okay. And, you know, even just taking this open sands and making it light i mean even there you got something going on already remember whenever you have something very decorative or stands out you always want to go with something plain to complement it you don't want to put anything you know real decorative down here that's going to compete and you might say well how could you're using sans serif here and sans serif there yeah but i'm i'm using very decorative fonts here so i i don't want to use anything down here now maybe you want to put it in all caps maybe you could highlight this and do, what is it, Salon and Day Spa. Salon, maybe you could do something like that. And then maybe make it even smaller. And remember our trick, when it's getting too small, you could make it spread out a little bit. Maybe light is too light. Maybe I'll put it back up to regular. And maybe I'll spread it out a little bit. I'll do the point, point .03, see how that looks. And do the auto, auto. And already that's looking okay. Now, again, you have to be careful because the P's at the end, it's really hard to just do that because it makes a really wide logo. I know I've seen people trying to do that, and, and it's a nice attempt to do that, but it just makes it too wide. It'd be better, we'd be better off like putting a space in the word here, you know, and, and just, you know, physically putting a space in here and, you know, putting a couple spaces in there and, and then moving it up and then finding a, a nook to put it in and make it work like that. You know, could that work? That could work. I mean, it's not great right now, but we'd have to mess with the spacing a little bit. But but already, if I zoom out, this is standing out that secondary. This is standing out that secondary. You want things to be secondary. Now, this is standing out that secondary. This is standing out that secondary. This is the kind of relationship I want to see. I want to see that you're not breaking any rules because we have serif, sans serif. That's not breaking a rule. We have script, sans serif, not breaking a rule. We have slab serif, slab serif, but they're in the same family, so that's not breaking a rule. We have a script here and a sans serif, not breaking any rules. And again, we're, we're resizing things, we're making things smaller to kind of work a little bit better. Uh, I mean, actually, if I look at this, this open sans, I think this would look better in archivo narrow. Why, would, why do I think that? I don't know, I just think it will. And let me go back again. It's actually a little more readable that way. And I could probably go a little bigger, or I could try spreading it out. I'll go here and do 0.02. Spread it out a little bit. And already, that looks better. I think it looks better than the way I had it with the open sands. So that looks better. But again, something standing out, something secondary. Something standing out, something secondary. Now, would this look okay with something in a script? It could. 
you can go here and look for something scripty. Now again, I'll, I'll try to scroll around. I don't, I don't want to have you watching me scroll the whole time, so let me see if I can find something. Playbill, or play, play ball, this is. And I'll make this a little bit bigger. Does that work? Not, it's actually not bad. I mean, I, I could see it. It's, it's, a li it's bordering on a little too decorative, but it's not bad. If I make it small enough and I put it on there, that works. I mean, could you see that on the side of a fuel truck? Possibly. It's a very readable script, and it's kind of casual looking. That would work. So I'm just trying to get out of doing everything with sans serifs here, but you see what's going on here. Again, something standing out, something secondary. Now, these don't compete. A script and a slab serif, they're very different, so they don't compete. If I just put a regular serif here, it might compete a little bit. They might be too much the same, but this is different enough that it has a different kind of feel here. Now, I could try different script fonts, but I'll leave that there just for now, just so you see what I'm doing. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm not putting a lot of lines. You could make a box around something. I would not recommend putting a box around your main element because if you have to put that on a sign or something, you're kind of limiting yourself. But sometimes you could have the bottom part in a box. That's kind of what this is. And these two lines here are kind of in the box, but as long as you could leave it kind of open, that's always a little bit better. Again, I'm not crazy about this one, but I'm just trying to get the idea across. I could try different fonts here and find something else that, that'll work with it, but just trying to get the idea here because some people are just a little off as far as what they're doing here and maybe looking around for too many fonts. Remember, just find something that's appropriate for the company and then find something that complements it and work on the sizing. Make sure that something is standing out and something is secondary. On all these, you know what's standing out. There's no confusion. Nothing is really wide. I've seen some people with logos that the bottom line is real wide. Uh, you don't want that. You don't want a real wide font. You want it to work in a nice little kind of stamp area. So that's what we're kind of doing here. You know, anything that you could do to just kind of stretch it out. Sometimes it's okay. 0.02. I'll stretch this out just a little bit. Maybe that looks better like that. Um, maybe it looks better centered. I'll just highlight this and center, but I'm just trying to get that across a little bit. Some people are struggling with this. So hopefully by showing these, these five, I don't think there's any more here. I think that's it. By just showing these five fonts here, hopefully that helps a little bit of what I'm trying to get at uh, with this assignment. 